Hey guys, how's it going? I got a little firearm video for you today. Um, I already fixed the issue on this uh, particular revolver, but I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how to take it apart and put it together. And I'll show you the issue that I found inside that was not making this firearm operate. So I got this about a week or so ago, um, finally had some time to work on it, got done with work, came home, came down here and started diving into it. And um, I'll show you in a little bit what I found and why the gun wasn't working and what I did to fix it. But basically when I got this gun, um, it was seized up. I mean, you, you couldn't half cock it. To rotate the cylinder um, let alone you couldn't even move the uh, the trigger okay but anyways so what you want to do to uh, disassemble this revolver is you push the base pin catch right there okay so push your base pin and this by the way this firearm is unloaded it's safe, okay? But anyways, now that's out of the way. So, like I said, take the base pin, push it, then remove your base pin, okay? Open up your gate, open the gate up, and slide your cylinder out. And you might have to put it on half cock so the uh, the bolt isn't catching onto the cylinder to remove it if you're having issues. So anyways, after that is all done, you take your, <coughs> excuse me, you take your cylinder out. Next up is grab a screwdriver and you're gonna wanna take the back strap screws out. So take the screws out, okay? Apologize if it's not in camera. Take your screws out. And when you work on guns in general, make sure you get the right set of screwdrivers go out and get yourself some gunsmithing screwdrivers i got the uh the wheeler kit just so you're not marring up screws or anything and especially on this it's all uh, chrome or whatever you want to call it um you don't want to be slipping off of the screw head scratching it damaging it messing up the screws at all so make sure you're not just using a just a screwdriver you find in your garage and thinking that's going to work because it probably isn't going to work. But anyways, after you get the uh, back, scrap, back strap screws out, flip it on over, and then you got three screws on the bottom here, and those are your trigger guard screws. And when you're unscrewing this, you want to kind of hold down because there's a spring and a plunger in here that holds the gate in place, and they're under tension. So you want to grab a hold of that, Okay, try and find a way that'll work for the camera here. But anyways, remove your front trigger guard screw. Get that one started. Then do the rear ones. And you'll feel that tension when you start undoing the screws. Just make sure you don't... Make sure you got pressure on it so that spring doesn't go flying out and you lose it. 
Got one done. Should have the second one done here in a second. Just undo that front one by hand. I think it's undone. So anyways, we'll just come apart like that. Separate your screws, okay? So you know what's going on. Those are for the trigger guard. Those are the back strap screws. I did already remove the, uh, the stock guards or the hand guards, whatever you want to call them. But anyways, so then... Here's that spring I was talking about. Remove that spring. Okay. Remove the plunger inside. That should fall out after you remove the uh, gate here. There's your plunger. Set that off to the side, as well as that. Now, next up, you're going to want to remove the trigger and bolt screw, which is located right here. Okay, remove that. Then remove your trigger and bolt spring. Once that's done, remove the trigger and bolt screw, which is the uh, smaller one of the two right here, one on the left. Remove that. Okay. Now this screw goes through the trigger and the bolt, so the uh, trigger will come out as well as the bolt. Then lastly, you need to remove the hammer screw which is the big one, okay? Set that off the side. Take your hammer, pull it down like so. Should rotate. Should rotate down like that, okay? Then you pull on the hammer, which brings out the hammer and the hand. If it'll focus. Here's the hand, though. Okay, so when you cock back on the hammer, the hand. The hand goes uh, forward. What the hand does is it catches on the cylinder wheel right here. And like I said, this thing was seized up. It wasn't moving whatsoever. And I was looking around trying to find anything that would be the uh, issue aside from a broken part. I didn't find anything that was broken on this one. But on the hand, on the right side, the side with the nipple, there was a really bad um, burr 
of metal. Um, let me see if I can find a pointer or something. There's a really bad burr right where that spring is attached by the uh, hand. And I just took a uh, little file and I filed it down, polished it up, put it back together, and the gun worked fine. So just that little piece of metal that was burred out and it wasn't smooth was causing all the issues. So anyways, that's how you take down this 22 revolver. Um, it's a H. Schmidt Ostem Ostem Rowan 22 revolver. Sorry if I butchered the name, but you get the idea. Uh, like I said, caliber 22. It's a model 21, and it was made in March of 1969, this particular model. And um, earlier I said I took the handguards off. I took the handguards off because there's a really nasty crack on the other side. Um, I can't show you the other side right now because it's in the other room drying in front of a fan. But anyways, there's a really nasty crack on the inside kind of spreading out to the outside. And I basically took uh, two-part epoxy, mixed up some epoxy, and kind of coated the inside of where that crack was just to reinforce it a little bit. But anyways, that is how you disassemble this HS revolver. And uh, I will show you how to reassemble it in the next video. Hit that like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, click the notification bell. Uh, comment down below. Keep your comments nice. I'm not an expert, so if you got an, any anything to say, make sure it's nice. But uh, yeah, so I will show you how to put it together in the next video, part two. All right, later, guys. See ya.